Hello, everybody. In the initial journey of learning Alteryx, we are trying to connect Excel to Power Query and the need for Alteryx. In our previous video, we have taken few file examples, such as three years' sales data in three different files, and we tried to connect some component of these using VLOOKUP in business segment file. Now, do keep in mind that next year there will be another file for 2019, and the business segment may keep on expanding. Not to forget the other important files which may have to be connected amongst these all files so that one consolidated report can be generated. Just to do a quick recap, we had taken data of three years sales in three different files which looked like this. There was one column which spoke about category and this was connected to another file which mentioned business segment. There you go. So one, you have to fill these blanks and then apply some kind of lookup formula in the form of a VLOOKUP or index in an extra column so that you get the business segment. And this is just one piece of the puzzle. However, taking this forward, we would like to do the same thing in Power Query. So what I've done is I've taken an empty blank file called Consolidated. And then I'm going to go to Data tab, New Query, From File, and Choose From Folder. This allows me to have the facility of auto-refreshing the data of any new file that gets added to the folder. I click on Folder. It asks me the folder path. Either I paste the folder path or I click on Browse to point out towards the Sales folder. I move on. Next. I get a window mentioning all these three different files. I click on Combine and Edit. Next, it gives me a window where I can preview the data of the first of the menu files. I can press OK. What it is trying to do is combining the data of multiple files. As the query is being evaluated, we subsequently see the data output in the Power Query window. There you go. This is the Power Query Editor window. I see all of the steps automated by action of combining the data of multiple files. If I refresh this query, you will also get to see another data file is getting added, 2019, if there were a fourth file in the folder. Similarly, I can right-click in the Queries panel, click on New Query, then access the data from another Excel file. This time, the data is going to come from the Business Segment file. I import. Just like last time, it shows me the preview of the file contents. I press OK. However, what I see is this data needs cleaning. Therefore, I go to the Transform tab. I choose the button called Use First Row as Headers. And immediately thereafter, I click on something called Fill Down. The reason? I wish to fill all these blanks. Now the advantage of these two queries are that as I go to the Home tab and refresh the queries, it will go back to the source files and recheck the data and refresh if there are any changes made. My next stop is going to Sales Query. Go to Home tab, go to Merge Queries, and click on Merge Query. It's a fantastic feature of Power Query, which is sometimes what I call as VLOOKUP on steroids. I click on Merge Queries. I see a panel with the sales data in the first window. Then I choose the second data, which is the DIM segment. The common thing between the two is category. So I choose the columns of category from both the data sets. And then I use something called Join Left Outer. This is a very important concept that we'll get to learn. For now, I just choose left outer, which means any name that you find in the next table, give me the table values associated with it. So I press OK. I go to the expanded column, and then I choose business segment. Suddenly, I have a column mentioning the business segment of each sales transaction. The most important part, once I close and load, it gives me a list of queries in the Excel window itself and the output of this query can be used in my pivot table to make a consolidated report. So friends, we neither used VLOOKUP or INDEX or MATCH or any manual application such as filling the blank rows. And the most important part, the data can be refreshed and the pivot table will be updated automatically accordingly. Now at this point, you might be thinking, why Alteryx? Okay, let's take the example of two companies which are using Alteryx. Book My Show and Coca-Cola. Think a little deep about the Book My Show revenues. To be able to maximize its revenue, that is, ticket sales from movie and non-movie events, it needs to know every hour the status of every unsold or sold seat. 
Based on the unsold seats, it can create promotional offers, send out emails with coupon codes based on past behaviors of users, genre of movie, time and day of the movie, response to a particular promotional offer, and it will want frequently to update its data to maximize the revenue. The challenge belongs to data volume and speed. Next, frequent refresh predictive analytics trigger based actions, which means automated emails based on unsold seats. Next, input for visualization tools. Now all this data should be prepared, updated fast and accurately, and should be ready for visualization tools such as Tableau or Power BI. Similarly, think about every Coca-Cola product being sold globally at this point in time and in the past. There will be millions of different behavioral patterns and actions to be taken. Now this has to be automated at a large scale. You will need Alteryx. So if this excited you enough, Watch our next video on Alteryx.